Hello everyone, my name is Aaron. I'm a tutor on Wiseant and I'm going to cover a dosage calculation question for healthcare professionals. This is a question that I came up with from my own resources. Uh, I work with nursing students, I work with EMTs, I work with uh, students who are preparing to take the PTCE or PTCB, and let's go ahead and break it down. So it's a lengthy question. I've actually worked out part of it, or actually I've worked out most of it here, and we'll go ahead and go through the details. But if we look at number one, Healthcare providers ordered dobutamine, 10 micrograms per kilogram per minute IV for your 68-year-old patient who weighs 172 pounds. The dobutamine is available at 1,000 milligrams per 250 mils. At what rate will you set the IV infusion pump? Okay, let's get started. So first off, if we see something like this where we have a weight in pounds, let's convert that to kilograms, right? Most of, uh, quite a few medications are weight-based. In this case, dobutamine is, and it's based on kilograms. So we need to convert 172 pounds to kilograms. And we do that by using dimensional analysis. So we set it up here, we have 172 pounds. Uh, technically, this is also a fraction. Every number in mathematics has a one under it. We just don't actually write it there because it's tedious. But in this case, we can go ahead and do this just for, uh, uh, the purposes of the example, I have a 1 under 172. And now we go ahead and set it up where we have one kilogram over pounds, okay? We want to have this situation where we have a fraction where one unit's on top, the other unit's on bottom. We can cross it out. And that makes sense. And so when we do that, we have 172 divided by 2.2, and that's actually 78.18 kilograms. What we're left with is the unit of kilograms. So great. So now we have the patient's weight in kilograms. So let's go back to our concentration of dobutamine, uh, or excuse me, the order for dobutamine, which is 10 milligram micrograms per kilogram per minute. We have 78.18 kilograms. We use dimensional analysis again, uh, times 10 micrograms per kilogram per minute. We're gonna cross out our kilograms. We have one, we have one unit here up top, kilograms, one unit on the bottom, kilograms, we can cross that out. And we're left with 781.8 micrograms per minute. Okay. So the question is asking at what rate will you set the infusion pump? A rate is usually milliliters over hour uh, when we're gonna go ahead and set a pump. And so what we're gonna go ahead and do is we have to do some more. We have to go ahead and first, we have micrograms. We have to get this in milligrams. And the reason why we do that is because the dobutamine available is 1,000 milligrams per 250 mils. And so we're gonna have mils per hour is gonna be our end rate. And so we need to get this part here, 781.8 micrograms per minute in milligrams, and not only in milligrams, but also in hour. And so we're gonna take the 781 micrograms per minute, which is what we have over here, multiply it by our conversion for milligrams to micrograms. So it's really, there's a thousand micrograms per milligram. We're gonna cross out our micrograms here and here, and what we're left with is 0 0.78 point, excuse me, 0 0.7818 micrograms per minute. And we're gonna convert that into minutes into hours. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna multiply this here by 60 minutes per hour. So we're gonna cross out our minutes, minutes here. And now what we're left with is 46.9 milligrams. We're multiplying across. 0.7818 times 60 over hour, over one hour to be specific. <clears throat> okay, so we're still not quite there, right? This is milligrams here. We want this to be in milliliters. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our concentration, what's available, it's a thousand milligrams per 250 mils, and we're gonna multiply it out. So 46.9 milligrams per hour times 250 mils over a thousand milligrams. And when we do that, we cross out our milligrams. We have milligrams on top here, milligrams on bottom here. We end up with 11.7 milliliters per hour. It's a lengthy question, but we'll go through it step by step. Again, uh, my name is Aaron. I help out a number of different students preparing for dosage calculations. I do wanna go ahead and look a little bit more at dobutamine. I have a resource that breaks it down in terms of its MOA, therapeutic uses, considerations, interactions, adverse reactions, but we'll use it as a, <clears throat> uh, it's a preferred medication. Um, and so what it'll essentially do is it can activate B1 receptors, alpha-1 receptors, uh, cause an increase in heart rate, heart contractility, vascular resistance, et cetera. Uh, and its adverse reaction is gonna be risk of tachycardia. 
If you need any assistance with those calculations, I would be more than happy to help you. Thank you.